Towards the end of the forty years in the wilderness, the children of Yisrael were numbered by Moshe and Eleazar the priest in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Yericho. But among these there was not a man of them that were numbered by Moshe and Ahron the priest, who numbered the children of Yisrael in the wilderness of Sinai. For Yahweh had said to them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them except Caleb the son of Yeponur and Yehoshua, the son of Nun. Bamidbar, Numbers, chapter 27. Then drew near the daughters of Thalapahad, the son of Hopper, the son of Galaad, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Yosef. And these are the names of his daughters, Mahla, Nua, and Hegla, and Melaka, and Tertha. And they stood before Moshe, and before el the priest, and before the princes of all the congregation, at the door of the tent of appointment, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not among the company of them that gathered themselves together against Yahweh in the company of Korah, but he died in his own sin and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from among his family, because he had no son? Give to us a possession among the brothers of our father. And Moshe brought their cause before Yahweh. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, The daughters of Thalapahad speak right. Thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers, and thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. And thou shalt speak to the children of Yisrael, saying, If a man die and have no son, then ye shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. And if he have no daughter, then ye shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he have no brothers, then ye shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father have no brothers, then ye shall give his inheritance to his kinsman that is next to him of his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be to the children of Yisrael a statute and ordinance, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Get thee up into this mountain of the Avarim, and behold the land which I have given to the children of Yisrael. And when thou hast seen it, thou also shalt be gathered to thy people as Ahron thy brother was gathered, because ye rebelled against my mouth in the wilderness of Teen, in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the waters for their eyes. These are the waters of Mariva of Gadesh in the wilderness of Teen. And Moshe spoke to Yahweh, saying, Let Yahweh, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who may go out before them, and who may come in before them, and who may lead them out, and who may bring them in, that the congregation of Yahweh be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Take thee, Yehoshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thy hand upon him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight, 
and thou shalt put off thy honour upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Yisrael may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before Yahweh. At his word shall they go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the children of Yisrael with him, even all the congregation. And Moshe did as Yahweh commanded him, and he took Yehoshua and set him before Elazar the priest, and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands upon him, and gave him a charge, as Yahweh spoke by Moshe. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Command the children of Yisrael, and say to them, My oblation, my food for my offerings made by fire, the aroma of my assuagement, shall ye observe to offer to me in my appointments.